Here we are just arriving at the Motorcycle Design Arden Desire. We've been walking around, we've had a coffee, we've been on the train and we've been lost in our own city. But uh, we're going to go to this place today, so it should be really good. here for a look around today I'm just I'm in heaven looking at all these old bikes some of them are very very old well before my time but we're gonna have a great day exploring the uh, exhibit and uh, what a, not a bad way not a bad way to spend the day when I could be at work but I'm here in this place instead so that's absolutely f amazing This is my era now, getting into the um, early 70s motorbikes and um, I'm sure everybody wanted a Honda 754. Uh, they revolutioned the motorbikes as the Japanese bikes started becoming more popular and the English bikes started to fade away. So we got some lovely bikes in this area here, which we'll have to have a bit of a look at. Early Triumphs, very nice. Nineteen sixty-nine, Karazaki five hundred triple. They also made a seven fifty triple, which was called the Widowmaker, because of their extreme power but bad handling. These bikes are just beautiful. Two-stroke engines, three cylinders. Plenty of power, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful picture. Nineteen forty Indian chief with a sidecar. Just lovely. It's lovely. It's truly our works of art and the craftsmanship and, and design on these beautiful old bikes is just really nice and Very beautiful Indian motorbike with sidecar. A 
another Indian. It's lovely. Four cylinder in line. So different to the motorbikes that we have nowadays. But the craftsmanship in these things is just lovely. This is a 1960 Honda Super Cub. They've been manufacturing these for years and years and millions have been sold and they're, they're still manufacturing today except they're now a bigger engine but very similar to the same design. In Australia we've used them as posty bikes for many many years. Now they're being faded out because they're going to like a more like a, um, a quad bike with a roof but for many 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 years the uh, this humble little motorbike has delivered mail to many people and is still being produced and very popular even today with a bigger engine except for Australia the engine is a little bit too small for the distances we want to travel but certainly one of the most popular bikes most uh, most manufactured bike probably in the world Look at that. I'm filming that. Can you see how blurry it is? Mm. Huh? What's that? Water focus is off. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> well, how was that? I don't know. To see if that makes a difference. Yeah, it does. It makes a huge difference.
Now we're getting into more bikes that I remember from my youth. Suzuki Katana. It was uh, incredible for its age, and nobody had produced a bike like this before with these kind of graphics and uh, body designs. So this was a real kind of special, unusual bike. And up in the back there, you've got the Karazaki GPZ 900. All, all bikes of the 70s. We'll just go over here to the Triumph Triple, one of the early Triumph Triples, as they got into some sporting looking bikes. Stepping into the future with electric motorbikes. Very, very interesting. They will come to be more used by people and people will get used to them more. But there's a few problems with them, such as range and price. But these are definitely going to get cheaper as the days move ahead and we're going to see more and more different kinds of electric motorbikes being produced. Vespa producing its electric scooter and little scooties, all sorts of different electric transports that are even becoming quite popular and we um, you even see them getting around in the cities now, people riding these kind of weird things in the cities.
So I'm standing just um, in front of one of the fastest bikes on the salt plains in America. We've had a look at some of the pictures from before. This is uh, about Munro, who was a New Zealander, who built his own bike and he raced the, uh, the salt flats in America and broke an incredible speed record. It's a great movie if you ever get to watch it. It's called The Fastest Indian. It's well worth watching. But here I am, I've just been spending quite a few hours today here in the um, exhibition hall where they have a, an incredible display of um, old motorbikes from the very old right up to some of the more modern bikes even going into the electric bikes and um, there's some old bikes that I remember from my youth and the, obviously some bikes which will be going into the future it has been a good, a good exhibition Here we are just overlooking the, the city from this side of the river, looking towards the other bank. sitting just outside of the um, gallery where we've just been looking at the exhibition and here we are just looking at some lizards it's, they're just sitting around like lazy things Ooh, a bit of action at the back there some lizards running around it's coming over the water is the city cat going down the Brisbane River And it's just a nice day to be enjoying outside. And these birds are a pest. We call them bin chickens. They're everywhere scavenging food, getting into rubbish bins. They're really an ibis. I'm sure many people like them, but we don't particularly. 